and if you consider this rack awareness concept means check it out how this will be very useful for our Hadoop distributed file system as part of maintaining a data on uh, which is unaffected to the data losses. Suppose suddenly as the as we are taking as a example of suddenly the data node 2 is goes down with the same rest with the same scenario fine is already taken as the network issue then suppose the name node wants to try with the fetching of a complete information b1 of b2 which we want to give the service the data which is related to the file 1 dot txt fine here it will check as the name node will have will maintain keep, keep track of metadata information to the each and every file which is which is having the storage in the hdfs cluster suppose it checks the file 1 dot txt how many blocks are there in what are the data locations it will check it out as the b1 location is we have we are keeping in a name node data node 1 and here we are we are changing this locations right where i am changing this b1 copy 1 i am keeping in data node 2 i change this directories data node 3 data node 4 data node 5 let's tell me the things where where we have the copies b1 b2 and dn5 we have a b2 copy 1 b2 copy 1 and b2 copy 2 is having in d4 fine actual b2 will be happens in data node 2 and as the holding of dn3 maintaining b ones second copy and data node 2 is only holding the b ones first copy fine we are maintaining this is the copy 0 copy 1 copy 2 of a b1 like this we are maintaining under three copies for b2 block finally we have six number of blocks block representations we are storing in the form of replication factor fine suppose suddenly any one of the data node 2 goes down what the scenario will be what the hdfs will do suppose as part of the things it will it fetches the data right it searches for the b1 b1 is holding in data node 1 data node 1 is uh, up and running we can easily respond to the, to the net name node for that purpose i am facilitating the access of b1 will be done with the name node 1 only but the b2 will be happens in the first replica is happens in a stored in a data node 2 it sends a request to the data node 2 uh, give the access for block 2 but the data node is unable to give the access immediately what it will do means it gives the another the getting the information from the data node 2 it is the actual information right this information will be handed out to the another net name node another data node suppose where is the b2 second copy is available here data node 4 immediately if the data node 2 is goes down means immediately goes to the request to the data node 4 which is holding a another copy of block 2 this is the second copy right where is the first copy data node 5 it will check the data node 5 and fetch the b2's content and finally we are combining b1 information and b2's copies information finally by combining these two information means again we are getting the data as a complete file 1.txt and it will serve to the concern user or client this is the actual part we are maintaining and we are distinguish the hdfs architecture with respect to the fault tolerant fine how you are maintaining with the issues with the how you are maintaining this data node and data losses means here we are maintaining a replication of a actual data whenever we are maintaining a replication of actual data means if you are having the original data if you lost the original data means we have the duplication of a file for the purpose itself we are making the original information suppose you after this is what the actual information and on top of this suppose after data node 2 is goes down i am finding that after serving the request user request uh, the name node will be take care and what are the copies are there b2 and b1's first copy these two meta these two by having the metadata information we can easily available what are the blocks are available in 
existing unavailable data node 2 for that purpose itself it will take it will store in any one of the another distribution nodes suppose same copies b2 0th copy and b1's first copy this both the things i am giving the handovering to the data node 6 why means we already deleted the we are unable to work with the data node 2 for this reason itself at the any point of time as the hdfs will maintain at least three replications is irrespective of data nodes actions data losses and data node unresponsive issues i hope you understand the architecture flow and all the things on top of this you have to understand what is the purpose of this secondary name node we have some of the architectures for one point x we have some of the versions based on the hadoop version itself we are maintaining some of the this simple simple changes with the architecture let's try with the normal case itself as the secondary name node as the secondary name node what is the purpose of secondary name node means suppose any one of the data node is goes down means we are maintaining still we are dealing with the with that by taking the applications from the another data nodes but suddenly the name node is only going down and it is only not working uh, to the user request for the, for that purpose what we have to do means for that purpose itself the secondary name node will comes to the picture and it will serve as the active name node fine previously we have in the one point x we have a secondary name node concept is there and here in the one point x architecture we have specially three types of architectures are there with respect to the versions hadoop one hadoop zero point x one point x two point x these are the major versions we are we are talking talking about the hadoop distributions here on top of this we have to consider as the secondary name node in the zero point x and one point x which involves the actual execution of a block structure or any one of the hadoop operations in the hadoop cluster whenever the, we are dealing with the name node failures on name node failure only the secondary name node will be active and will fetch the data but in the same concept we also having works with the 2 point x and what's the name node related differences with the 1 point x 2 point x i will tell you after completion of these things you may get a complete understanding of what's the difference between 1 point x and 2 point x fine i will tell you just just keep it keep it out this secondary name node concept as a simple thing okay i will tell you with respect to the metadata information and in hadoop cluster this metadata will maintain in the name node with the files called fs image and edit log files these are the actual information providers holders of with respect to the metadata fine this reading and writing access will only have with the name node as the second pin node cannot write the content to the fs image and edit log as directly fine this is what the normal principle with the normal hdfs architecture with one point x architecture and this is the normal rack awareness and replication of a data on top of this let us drive the use cases we have given lot of differences right we have seen fault tolerance you got to understand fine we have to check out high, high reliability all these things we can also perform the things and how the things will be performed with the concept of high availability all these things will be checked out with the difference with one one point x two point x and then you can follow that and for that purposes i am removing these things and here we are we are distributing these replicas to the entire cluster right these things will be happens in the fashion of round robin fashion to perform the replication on top of this rack awareness this rack awareness is also very important on top of this replication mechanism in production systems as yes, the hadoop is meant for huge amount of storage 
it is not to main for, meant for to loading a 5 kb 10 kb 10 mb files and you have to process those files itself the hadoop is meant for huge data processing it may hold minimum number of thousands of nodes data nodes and we are arranging with it with the help of racks as the normal rack means we are maintaining at least 40 nodes to the in the in the production systems in the real time architecture i'm saying where in the real time we have to maintain as the 40 nodes to the one single rack and based on this and we minimum we are working with the number of hundreds of thousands of row, thousands of nodes as part of the data storage maximum we will take the block size as 256 mb in the production systems also as we have the default systems like 1.8, 128 and 64 megabytes but we have to maintain in the process when we have dealing with the huge amount of data for that purpose i am taking the minimum block size as 256 mb as these are the internal default collection with the real time means let's drive the issues with 1.x and 2.x both the 0.x and 1.x have the similar features and 2.x has the some of the major we have some some of the things at there what's main differences means let us drive with the architectural components what are the major differences with 1.x and 2.x then we will see the related to the programmatical or reasonable features as part of the components means we have seen name node fine what are the data what are the things we have seen in the architecture name node we have seen secondary name node and data node these three things we are saying as a storage components of a hdfs architecture storage components of a hadoop cluster means this majorly these are the things we have to deal with deal with the storing of a huge amount of data name not only will they are taking care of complete storage of huge number of files by dividing into a physical locations physical portions of nothing but blocks in the terms of blocks only we are storing in the hadoop cluster not in a directly file by file manner and secondary name node will actively involve in the secondary when the, when the name node file use and it will service the user request data nodes are the actual representative actual account the actual data holders to hold the actual information related to the blocks and here on top of this yes the hadoop will also maintains will perform the processing yes or no to perform those processing we have to maintain some of the things like job tracker and task tracker fine yes the things will these are the key representative to the processing of a huge amount of data actually if you go on the if you go on these things means we already seen as the name node will is the master node when the name node is getting down we have a secondary name node and we have multiple data nodes for the hadoop cluster and here the, the data nodes will be divided into a number of racks rack 1 rack 2 like this we are maintaining fine and on top of this we have processing components where these processing components will be reset in the cluster as the job tracker will always having the storage in a name node and as the task tracker will always reset in the data nodes fine for each data node holds the each uh, one task tracker and every data node will maintains the job tracker fine suppose as part of the storage we have already seen the scenario with, res with respect to the hadoop cluster mechanism let's see with the processing component whenever we are dealing with the any request the name node will take will convert into a number of jobs suppose as part of the information request level it converts either one job or multiple jobs after converting the multiple jobs the it will execute the jobs in a parallel fashion on top of this the job will be assigned to the assigned as a number of tasks to further respective data nodes suppose let's have a simple example 
accessing information about file1.txt fine yeah, as we already discussed it holds 200 mb means how many blocks we have allocated suppose the block size i am taking as 128 we must we at least have the we need two number of blocks suppose any one of the blocks we have to consider right it as the metadata it fetches the information like the information is holding in data node 1 and data node 3 after finding this the job tracker will assign the task to the task trackers which are residing in the data node 1 and data node 3 means here the job tracker will be participating in the execution and also we are dealing with ts1 and ts3 task tracker of data node 1 task tracker of data node 3 fine suppose suddenly the task tracker which is in data node 2 is not re responding means it is assigning the same job to the any one of the task tracker which are available data nodes which are available in the existing clusters and it will hand over the job to the their respective task tracker these things suppose any one of the data node failures suppose i am not getting the response from data node 2 and in this failure of task 2 execution will in the will task 2 execution and we are handling this complete job of task 2 is handling to the task task tracker 3 or task tracker 4 for this mechanism we are saying as a speculative execution what is meant by speculative execution means in the real time we cannot expect all the data nodes will be available and up and run with the based on the network situation for that purpose itself we have to deal with the network related issues also suppose any one of the data node is getting down we have to rearrange this task to the reassign the, this job to the task to the another task tracker which is residing in any one of the available data nodes this execution flow we are saying as a speculative execution in hadoop terminology particularly we are dealing most commonly we are dealing with the network type of issues and as the job tracker will always expects the acknowledgement with from the task trackers which are residing in the data nodes to get the conclusion about how many available data nodes are there fine so every time every it will take it will take the it will take the acknowledgement as a periodic periodically like every 10 minutes or 15 minutes as a hourly basis or daily basis something we are arranging things suppose as that every 10 minutes as the job tracker which is residing in the name node will accept acts expects the acknowledgement from task tracker which is residing in data nodes these things we are this mechanism we are saying as a heartbeat mechanism heartbeat concept in the hadoop cluster means what is meant by heartbeat mechanism means here same thing the task tracker will always use the response yes i am on I am up and running. I am available to take the task. Like this, the task tracker will gives the information, gives the response to the job tracker based on some periodic levels. Fine. In this level itself, we have seen how the replication factors will be maintained and speculative execution with respect to the heartbeat mechanism. Fine. On top of this, if you are, you are learning this about job tracker and task tracker, we have some of the changes with the 2.x Hadoop 2.x version. Here in the 2.x we have some of the changes which related to the secondary name node. As the secondary name node which is residing as the uh, some standby node to the name node, it is giving the its fulfillment of the requirements on top of name node failures. Suppose let us take the Hadoop 2.x architecture. Here Hadoop 2.x architecture will maintain same storage components with respect to the small changes suppose as the name node will be remains and with respect to the secondary name node we are maintaining one standby name node what's the difference between the standby name node and the secondary name node means we have some of the architecture differences whenever we are working with the secondary name node when the name node fails only the secondary name node actually involved and it will take the entire information as the temporary copy and once again we need to reinitiate the name node suppose in this case 2.x it is not bother about that we are maintaining shared nfs let me tell it out shared metadata information here 
as the name node is only the keeping a track of metadata information suppose suddenly the secondary name node get involved it cannot get a actual metadata information right suppose file1.txt is stored with the name node suppose the name node 1 is stored the file1.txt and suppose suddenly the name node 1 is goes down if in this case suppose the secondary name node goes involved in the execution after involve the execution itself it cannot holds the actual metadata information of a file1.txt this is the real time issue we are facing with the real time production systems but here with this shared metadata information suddenly one of the name node is goes down also the standby name node will performs the will act as a active name node and by taking the information from metadata of a any one of the file information fine this is what the major differences between secondary name node and standby name node we are saying as a some checkpoint name node also we have some of the things at there by performing the some checkpoints here we say na something like what is checkpoint mechanism means we are getting the hard bits and all things this maintaining uh, hard bits and search check out what is checkpoint mechanism and checkpoint name node sometimes the standby name node itself it will act as a checkpoint name node we can also make it as a checkpoint name node as an additional thing what the checkpoint name node job is to maintain the checkpoints means however we are maintaining acknowledgments as the job tracker it is maintaining the periodical level it is maintaining acknowledgments right as the avail list of available nodes in the same manner as the checkpoint mechanism is also holding the information like suppose after each and every iteration it is copied is updating a metadata it updates the metadata information periodically by this updating this metadata information is nothing but we are making the copy as checkpoint mechanism this checkpoint mechanism very oftenly we have to consider whenever we are performing the actions as we are maintaining metadata is it we are maintaining in this temporary nfs so folder we have to keep on updating these things to fetch the to perform the user request as soon as possible fine this is nothing but as the storage components of a 2.x architecture and we have one more basic structure is data node which is here in the 2.x also we have the data nodes which are the actual data storage data folders to maintain a replication on all the things and however we are performing the job trackers in the name node here we have resource manager which act as a job tracker in 1.x and this resource manager is also resides in name node only and we have node manager which have the access in data nodes fine this resource manager and node manager are deciding in the respect to name nodes and data nodes to fulfill the processing of a huge amount of data this is what the final conclusion with the 1.x and 2.x architecture based on the component level fine these are the major componental differences with respect to the hadoop 1.x and 2.x architectures